and welcome to another episode of Press This, your look at anything WordPress from WordPress plugins to themes. We have reviews and we usually pit two plugins against each other. I'm your host, Dan, and I'm joined by Scott. And today we're actually not going to talk about plugins. We're going to talk about the new release coming up, coming in December, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. That's what the uh, uh, scheduled date is. <laughs> <laughs> WordPress uh, 3.5. Uh, beta 3 just came out. Uh, and then we have just a couple more release candidates. And then, and then we're on to the then, actual we're release. On to the actual release. Yeah. So what we're talking about today specifically, and it's something that came up as the major function change uh, with the third beta, um, as well as some other plugins we're going to talk about in a little bit, is images yeah. in your photo library. So what basically happens is with the new release of 3.5, there's going to be a brand new overhauled, redesigned media browser and media uploader. It looks great. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Nice and clean. Yeah. Uh, totally revamped. Um, you just, you get in there, you might be a little confused at first, but the functionality is awesome yeah. as well. Now we, we, we took a look at it. Um, we sort of played around with it. Um, right off the top of the, right off the bat, one thing I really, really enjoyed looking at it was the um, ability to insert group pictures into a, into a post yeah. just by clicking on the different uh, pictures that are in your media library already and just hitting insert into insert as a batch. Yep, batch insert. Really cool. Just a much more visual. Um, and actually, it's, it's interesting because it's more visual, but it's also a little bit cleaner, as, yeah. you, as you mentioned, Definitely. which is great. Um, all of your options as far as what you want to do are a little bit more visual and easier to see. If you're somebody that's new to blogging, a, a business that's new to the website, and you want to have an easier way to design your content or create your, your content, upload your pictures. Yeah, and the other thing that's cool, too, is they let you create a gallery. Uh, yeah. Gallery short code is inserted into the right, post. Right in there. You can order the images, drag and drop. It's uh, very simple. Uh, a lot easier to use than the old one. <laughs> yeah, really cool, really cool. Um, out of curiosity, uh, as somebody who develops for WordPress, was there anything that you noticed was missing or you thought was missing from the new or did it look pretty good? Uh, I thought they did a great job with, okay. with where it was at. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to add you know, meant too many more features in these next release candidates. Right. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I liked it. I really liked it. The as far uh, the old one was really cumbersome and, and hard to use, but right. this one just makes it easy and seamless. And yeah, it was it was funny because I I we were testing around with it. We had our, our beta page, and then I went back to my old page that doesn't have the beta running on it. And it was like, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Um, so, so Matt's not here today, obviously. Um, but in spirit, we should talk about some sort of plugin. So we're yes. going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about Jetpack. Um, so specifically, uh, Photon. Yeah. So Jetpack just released a new addition to their plugin. their very, very popular plugin, um, called Photon. And what it basically is, is an image server for your website and it uses their own server to deliver images to your website when somebody loads the page. Do you want to kind of embellish on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, definitely. So it's called the Photon API, mm -hmm. and basically it's a content delivery network, right. uh, meaning that all of your static images are served through their network. And what that does is it helps accelerate the uh, delivery of those mm -hmm. images, and they're also cached automatically. Cool. Um, also, uh, on any Jetpack uh, site plugin. Um, site that has the plugin installed yeah, sure. um the images are updated on the fly awesome and uh automatically appended uh right. is the cdn website so you don't have to do any work out of the box there your images are automatically served from their cdn right. all you have to do is activate it from um your jetpack plugin settings yes and then that's it yep so it does the job for it yeah, yeah and then they do have other options too right. it's a little bit manual at this point but you can uh, apply different filters right. and also different effects uh, cropping resizing zooming yeah. stuff like that but those are a little more advanced <laughs> super uh, ironic since just last week actually ourselves <laughs> talked about that paintbrush javascript library uh to just have a completely the same thing, but even easier is sort of like, oh, well. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, <laughs> thing that we learned, but Very it's cool. how it goes. Very um, cool. So so definitely a, a big push for images right now. Um, for the blogger, I mean, half the, most bloggers are going to be posting images. It's Instagram sort of nation right now. Yeah, yeah. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so there you have it. We have our, our, our new Jetpack uh, edition, uh, Photon, and WordPress 3.5 beta number 3 specifically the media browser library. Uh, we're going to continue to talk about more plugins, more reviews as the coming weeks uh, happen. Uh, if you'd like to receive more of this content, you can actually go to our website at slocumstudio.com slash blog. Or if you just want it delivered right to your inbox, we have slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank